Today we are checking out a huge Jurassic World Predator vs Predator collection where I'll be comparing many of these dinosaurs side by side. Plus, I've got a new Jurassic World Dino trackers that we'll be checking out as well. But let's get started with this Scorpios Rex and this Seatz Micarera. The Scorpios Rex figure is quite a bit larger than many of the Jurassic World figures I have. It has these huge claws on its hands, comes with sound effects and the two action buttons on its back plus those huge poisonous quills as well. And let's check out the Seatz Mika Rerum. It's got an orange body with some brighter coloring. It's got a bunch of spikes running along the top of its head, and you can use its tail to move its head back and forth and to chomp its jaw as well. Next up, we've got the giant T-Rex figure and an Endoraptor figure. This T-Rex figure is actually a bit older. It's got a rubbery neck and the rubbery tail. This figure has a huge chomping action when you lift up its head, it roars, and then when you lift its tail, it chomps down with some sound effects too. And this Endoraptor figure is pretty awesome as well. It's a bit bigger than many of the Endoraptor figures I have, and it has a really cool feature where you can move the tail to twist its torso around, move its neck, and there's even buttons to control its arms and its jaw as well. And check it out, even its eyes light up too. Next up, we've got another T-Rex, but this one is a green color versus a Carnotaurus figure. The T-Rex is a bit bigger and it has some cool black detailing right along the top. Plus, you can adjust the neck to look in all sorts of directions and use the button at the top of its head to open and close its jaw too. And the Carnotaurus over here, although it's a little bit smaller, it has some pretty awesome detailing as well. It comes in the dark brown color, it has the gray underbelly, and it has a tail that moves its head side to side and up and down and opens and closes its jaws too. Next up in Predator vs Predator, we've got a Suchomimus and right over here we've got the Irritator. The Suchomimus is a little bit larger and it has blue and yellow coloring along its body. It's got a huge spine running down all the way down its tail and it has an action button to chomp its really long and narrow snout. And let's check out this Irritator dinosaur as well, which actually looks somewhat similar as the Suchomimus. They've both got tall spines running along their back and long, narrow snouts too. You can open and close the mouth manually, and you can actually use the tail to move its head around too. Down here, we've got an Albertosaurus versus a Rajasaurus. The Albertosaurus here has some extreme battle damage on its side that you can close. See its ribs that you can open and close, and you can close its skin entirely. Plus, the rest of its body is very adjustable as well. You can even move the neck around to look in all different directions too. And the Rajasaurus is an entirely different color and a little bit smaller than the Albertosaurus. It's got dark blue and some white. It's got some huge spikes running along the top of its head, and it has an action that when you press down on its back, it chomps. Here we've got two T-Rexes from different eras of Jurassic World. This first one is more recent, it's from Jurassic World Dominion, and this is an older one, I think it's from Camp Cretaceous actually. Comparing the size, I think the Camp Cretaceous one is a little bit larger. This one is really cool because you can use the tail to move the head up and down and open and close the jaw too. And the Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex, although a little bit smaller, has some really cool coloring. It's like a darker brown orange color. Plus it has the extreme battle damage right on the side that you can turn on and off with the click of a button. Here are some winged dinosaurs. This one right here is a Quetzalcoatlus, and this orange one is a Pteranodon. The Pteranodon is a lot more simple in color. It's mostly this brown-orange clay coloring. It has some yellow detailing on the wings, and you can open and close the mouth manually as well. The Quetzalcoatlus is a bit more of a sophisticated toy. You can actually fold the wings closed all the way, and there's action buttons on its back to flap the wings and to chomp its jaw as well. Plus, it's got some really cool coloring as well. And I think that the Quetzalcoatluses are much larger than Pteranodons in real life. We've got a huge dinosaur figure right here, and also a smaller one right on top of it. This huge one is a Mosasaurus, and this smaller one is a Sarcosuchus dinosaur. This huge Mosasaurus figure 
is an ocean dinosaur, so you'll see this in the water. I'm sure you recognize it from the first Jurassic World movie. And it's probably two or three feet long from the tip of its mouth all the way to the tail. And you can adjust all the fins and open and close its mouth. Now this Sarcosuchus figure is a lot smaller and it may not have lived entirely in the water, but I believe that these dinosaurs lived by the water and might have even hunted in it as well. It's got this super long and narrow snout and it looks a lot like an alligator in a way. It looks like it has some armor plating all along its back too. And you can use the tail to open and close the jaw. Next up, why don't we open up this Jurassic World Dino Tractors? I believe it's pronounced Dryptosaurus or Dryptosaurus. It's looking pretty cool. Let's open it up. This Dryptosaurus figure is pretty cool and it's around the same size as many of my Baryonyx figures. It's got some green that runs along from its arms, down its back, all the way to its tail, where it's got a ton of really interesting spikes and it's got some dark brown from its feet that trails up all the way on its back, all the way to its head, where it has some dark blue right along its mouth as well. And let's see what else. You can move the arms up and down and outwards. You can twist the tail and move the legs too. There is the barcode scanner right there on its back that you can open and close. And it's got an action button right here on its back. It's a pretty small one, but you actually push it side to side and it rotates its head for different sound effects and for chomping too. And let's compare it against a Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This Velociraptor is bright green. It's got the striping along its back. And like many of the Amber Collection figures is super poseable and adjustable as well. These figures are really cool. Next up is a Baryonyx versus a Cryolophosaurus figure. They're about the same size. I think the Cryolophosaurus is a little bit bigger and heavier. This dinosaur is pretty muscular. Look at those huge legs. It's got a huge torso as well. And it's got some really cool crown embellishment on the top of its head. And best of all, you can use the tail to move the head around in a really lifelike way. Let's compare that to the Baryonyx figure, a little bit thinner probably a faster runner. It's got some smaller legs and arms. It's got a variety of different colors along its body and it's got these slide lever action for different chomping movements. Here is a Ceratosaurus versus what I believe is a Yangchuanosaurus. They're about the same in size. I think the Ceratosaurus is a little bit bigger. The Yangchuanosaurus has a really long neck though. Let's check out the Ceratosaurus. It's got some different tones of brown. It's also got that bright red as usual, an action button on its back to open and close its jaw. And you can move its arms and its legs and its tail as well. The Yangchuanosaurus figure is totally different in color. It's green, yellow, and blue. And on this figure, you can use the tail to move the head around. Sounds like the sound effects are a little bit broken though. This figure has even smaller front arms. I think those might be even smaller than a T-Rex's front arms and definitely smaller than a Ceratosaurus's front arms as well. Over here, we've got another Amber Collection Velociraptor figure versus a Baryonyx figure. The Baryonyx is a little bit larger than the Velociraptor figure. It has a longer neck and maybe a longer tail, I think and it's got an action button on its back that you can use to open and close the jaw. Check out that super bright orange detailing right on the top of its head too. And it's got a long and a narrow snout. The Velociraptor on the other hand doesn't have quite as long of a mouth and it's a bit more wide. Its eyes are a lot larger. And since this is from the Amber Collection, it is very poseable and adjustable too. Way more poseable than that Baryonyx figure. <laughs> This is a Carcharodontosaurus figure versus a smaller Indominus Rex figurine. Carcharodontosaurus is definitely a lot larger. It's got some bright yellow, orange, and brown coloring. It's got striping all the way down its neck and its back, and it's got a huge action button on its back for chomping. Look at that huge chomping action all the way down, and it's so fast you can hardly see it. This Indominus Rex figure is a bit older and a bit smaller. It's got the classic gray detailing with a bit more green gray coloring along the top, 
and this has some extreme battle damage on the side that you can open and close, which is really cool. And with this figure, you can move the legs and the arms, and you can use the tail to chomp the head. These are our last two dinosaurs of the bin. We've got another Ceratosaurus. This one is from the Hammond collection versus a huge Velociraptor blue figure. The Ceratosaurus figure is a lot bigger in size in terms of its torso. Look at this difference between this skinny Velociraptor and this huge Ceratosaurus figure. And since this is a basic Velociraptor blue figure, there's not a ton of detailing and you can only move the arms and legs. But with the Ceratosaurus, since it's from the Hammond collection, has a lot more awesome detailing and coloring, and you can adjust the arms, the legs, the tail, and the head in all sorts of different poses. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaur Channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of awesome dinosaurs like T-Rexes, Spinosauruses, and Indominus Rexes from a bunch of different brands including Mattel, Hasbro, and more. And I've even got some brand new ones. Let's start with this brand new dinosaur figure. All right, World of Giants Dinosaur. Let's open this up and see what it is. Can you guess what type of dinosaur it is? All right, check it out. It's an Indominus Rex model. That is so cool. Look at the realistic coloring and all the texture and detail along its body. It's got the spikes on the top the huge claws on its hands and look at those teeth too and you can open and close the jaw as well this is a super cool model indominus rex let's check out our other indominus rex figures in here all right this first one this is from the old jurassic world line i think it's made by hasbro let's check it out so this figure is pretty big. I'd say it's maybe two feet from head to tail. The whole neck and head is made out of rubber, which is really interesting. And when you move the arms up and down, let's see what it does. It opens and shuts the jaw for the roar. That's so cool. Check out those teeth too. This is a pretty cool figure and a classic one. All right, our next Indominus Rex figure. This, I believe, is by Mattel. And this is a battle damage Indominus Rex. There we go. That's awesome. Check out that battle damage on both sides. And this Indominus Rex has a button on the tail that you can use to chomp. That is so awesome. This figure is huge. Here's one more Indominus Rex. This is a smaller version, and this is an older one from the old Jurassic World line, so I think it might be made by Hasbro. But check that out. This also has battle damage that you can open and close. How cool is that? Check out those teeth. Look at those eyes. And the tail controls the chomping action, too. That is awesome. All right, let's check out some T-Rexes. This is a T-Rex with battle damage. Oh, that's awesome. This figure is made by Mattel and it is a fully posable dinosaur figure. That is so cool. You can move the neck and open and shut the jaw too. Let's check out some more T-Rexes. Right up front here, we've got the great T-Rex from the old Jurassic World line. Let's see what this figure does. So when you press its tail, go like that. 
And now it's in a roaring position. Ready for it to chop down? Here we go, ready and go! Oh, that's so cool. This is a great figure. All right, next up, we've got a dark brown T-Rex made by Mattel. And this T-Rex has two actions. The first is a chomping action. Look at that, it's like a tearing chomp. That's so cool. And the second action is with the tail. You can sweep it back and forth. That's super awesome. And once again, a huge dinosaur figure. Ooh, look at this red and spotted black T-Rex. This is an old figure. This is from the original Jurassic Park toy line. I believe it's made by Hasbro. And this T-Rex, the whole body is covered in rubber. So its skin is actually really soft everywhere, which is different from a lot of the other toys. And it doesn't work quite as well anymore, but when you press on the stomach, it'll open and shut its jaw. It's an old toy, so it may not work the same as it used to, but this is still a really cool figure to have in my collection. All right, another big T-Rex in the back here. This is a light brown T-Rex. This is from the Camp Cretaceous line made by Mattel. This dinosaur has the chomping button on its tail, and you can also move the tail to move its neck up and down and back and forth. I really like how realistic the movements of this T-Rex are. This is so cool. All right, we've still got a lot more T-Rexes in here. This is actually one that I just bought. Let's check it out. This is a model T-Rex that I bought on Amazon. And look at the detail in the coloring and the texture too. That is so cool. Now, the arms and legs don't move on this dinosaur, but the jaw does open and close still. Look how detailed that is. I think that might be more detailed than Mattel's toys. That is super awesome. Let's see if we can find any more T-Rexes in here. Yep, here's some more. This is another classic T-Rex figure from the Jurassic Park toy line from a long time ago. This T-Rex has some battle damage on the side. And once again, the whole body is made out of rubber. So it's very soft. All right, here's a few more T-Rexes. And look, they're all different colors too. This one is made by Mojo. I'm actually not sure what brands made these ones, but these are all model T-Rexes. So these are more for on display. It looks like only the center T-Rex can open and shut its mouth. The other two are frozen in their roar. But I love the coloring on each of these. These are pretty realistic, I do have to say. And I love the orange red coloring on this T-Rex too. That is pretty awesome. Right over here in the back from Mattel is the Great Spinosaurus. This dinosaur has tons of teeth in its mouth and the coloring in this dinosaur is super cool. It's got the light brown and a lighter stripe all the way to its head and then the darker brown and then the red, super bright red on its spine and on its face too. That is so awesome. And it's got the action button on its head for roaring. Right over here, we've got a very different looking Spinosaurus figure. I think this Spinosaurus figure might be from the Schleich brand. And this figure doesn't have any moving parts, so it's stuck in this pose, and it actually looks like it's swimming, because Spinosaurus did actually swim in the water for hunting. But I love the color design on this. That is super cool. Up next, we've got a giant Stegosaurus and it's from the old Jurassic Park toy line. This dinosaur also feels a bit rubbery on the outside. It's softer than the Mattel dinosaurs. And especially this tail right here is super flexible so that when you pull on this, it'll swing the tail back and forth. Watch out for those spikes. And 
we've got another Stegosaurus, a smaller model. So this one does not have moving body parts. You can't swing the tail, but it is still a great collectible to put on my shelf. I just love the bright colors on these dinosaurs. I see a new dinosaur right here. Let's see what type it is. All right, it is a Velociraptor. This figure is from the Ahupoi brand. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But once again, awesome coloring. I love the bright blue and of course the red eyes. Let's see what other Velociraptors we've got in here. Here's two. This Velociraptor is from the old Jurassic Park line by Hasbro. The only body parts you can move on this one are the arms. And on this Velociraptor, this is from the old Jurassic Park line, I think also by Hasbro. So this toy is pretty old. And it's got a chomping action too. How cool is that? All right, we've still got some more Velociraptors in here. All right, here is a Velociraptor made by Mattel. So this is a newer Velociraptor figure. It's gray with a dark blue color on top and you can open and shut the jaws. And that is pretty cool. And we've also got these other two. Oh, you know what? This is a Dilophosaurus. We'll save that guy for later. But this is a Velociraptor. And I actually don't have any other Velociraptors with this type of coloring. And you can see on its arms that it's actually got a little bit of feathers on there, which is super interesting. Oh, I'm still seeing some Velociraptors. Let's grab some more. All right. Here is an old Jurassic Park Velociraptor. This Velociraptor figure is super old. I'm not even sure when it was made but because it has the JP tattoo, you know that it's pretty old. And here's those other Velociraptors. Another classic Velociraptor figure right here with the chomping action. This Velociraptor figure might be made by Schleich. I'm not actually sure, but the body parts don't move on this one. But you can still see a lot more detail than a lot of the other figures on this. Look at that texture too. That is so cool. And of course, we've got another Mattel Velociraptor. Fully movable legs, arms, neck, and jaw. And this dinosaur has battle damage too, that you can open and close. Up next, we've got a giant Triceratops. This is a Jurassic Park figure. So this figure is pretty old, made by Hasbro a long time ago. And like the other older figures that we saw, it has a rubber body, and when you squeeze the stomach, it roars. Oh, right over here, we've got a brand new Triceratops. Let's check it out. This Triceratops is made by Gemini and Genius, and it doesn't have any moving parts, but once again, these models always have a lot more detail with the texture and the coloring. Just look at the shading in that and the bright red on top. That is so awesome. I see some brightly colored dinosaurs in here. Let's check out what these are. All right, these are all Dilophosauruses. This one was made by Mattel and this figure specifically is a bit smaller, but it's still got those bright colors. This one, is actually from Toys R Us a long time ago, but it's still got that super bright and colorful frill. And this Dilophosaurus is super brightly colored and it's from the old Jurassic World line. That is so awesome. I love these bright colors. Oh, here's a few more Dilophosauruses. Let's check these out. I think this small one is made by Mattel again. And I'm actually not sure what brand these are. They aren't Mattel or Hasbro, but they're still pretty cool action figures. You can move the arms and legs and the necks, and that is pretty awesome. Both of them super brightly colored. All right, let's see what dinosaur is next. 
Oh, we've got a Ceratosaurus by Mattel right here. And check it out. There's an action button on the top that slides back and forth. Wow, that is an awesome roar. Plus, it's got this really cool bright red coloring all along its head and back. And I think we've got some brand new Ceratosauruses too. This is a Ceratosaurus by Schleich. And this is a Ceratosaurus by Poppo. These are both model figures, so not as many body parts move, but both their jaws open up and they both have awesome and super detailed coloring. All right, our last dinosaur species of this collection. It is one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. This figure is made by Mattel and it has pretty detailed coloring. Plus it's got two actions. There's a button for the roar. And also if you move the tail, it controls his head in a real lifelike way. Let's check out these smaller Carnotaurus figures. I'm not sure of the brands of all of these, but they're quite a bit different from each other. This one has huge spikes and it actually has a soft texture on the outside. It's like a soft rubber. And the jaw opens and closes as well. Still got those huge horns on the top. And this figure is a little bit smaller and it's more of a hard plastic. And on this Carnotaurus too, the jaw opens and closes for the roar. That is so epic. And here are our final two Carnotauruses. This big one is a super bright orange with green spots and white spikes along the top and even purple around its eyes. How interesting is that? And this smaller Carnotaurus is a much more natural coloring. It's a dark gray, it's got the red underneath its throat. And you can even see the eyes. Look at that attention to detail. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaurs from my huge dinosaur collection. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs that we're gonna open up here today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started opening these up. First with the Baryonyx Grimm from Camp Cretaceous in the Primal Attack series. Let's open it up. Here we go, let's activate the batteries. And let's check this out. So this is differently colored from the other Baryonyxes that I have. It comes with sound effects, it's so cool. And it's brown on the bottom and then right next to its eyes, it's all red to really make those eyes pop out. Let's see what kind of actions these have. If you move the tail, let's see, you can get a chomping action and you can also move it side to side for a slashing action too. This is pretty cool. This is about the same size as the other Baryonyxes I have, but I like this one. I really like the dinosaur figures that you can control the head from the tail because it looks so much more realistic that way. That is super cool. Next up, we've got the, I believe it's pronounced Coelurus. I might be wrong, but it's from the Extreme Damage series. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, this is a pretty dark dinosaur. It's got that dark, dark green body a dark red, it's like almost a brown red color. You can move the arms, you can move the legs, and you can twist the tail. Right over here on top is the DNA barcode that you can scan to learn more about the dinosaur. And if you press the button right here, here comes a battle action. That is really cool. I really like these battle damage dinosaurs because it can change the whole look of the dinosaur with just a click of the button. And you can adjust its mouth too. <laughs> Next up, we've got this dinosaur. It's kind of hard to tell what kind of dinosaur it is. So let's open it up and see. 
All right. It is a Therizinosaurus, and look how brightly colored it is, too. Get this cardboard out. I bet you remember this dinosaur from the new Jurassic World movie with those huge claws used for stabbing and slashing. And look at the coloring. It's got a nice blue color on the belly and chest and on the back from the tail all the way to the head. It is a super bright red. This might be one of the brightest dinosaurs that I have. And you can move the arms on this dinosaur and I think the mouth too. Yep, there we go. Next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got the Monolophosaurus from the Camp Cretaceous toy line. Let's open it up. So this is a smaller dinosaur, but it is super brightly colored with two different colors of green, just like the earlier dinosaur that we saw. So this is a bright green on the sides and then a dark green right on the top. And on the belly, it's like a tan color. And with this dinosaur, it's got a tail action as well. When you pull down the tail, it gives a chomping action. And you can move the legs and the arms, and that's about it on this dinosaur. But this is pretty cool. And next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got this chaotic cargo mini toy set. Let's open it up and see what dinosaurs are inside. I think that's pretty cool how they designed the box to look like a transport truck for the dinosaurs. Look at that, the whole thing, even the front. But let's check out these dinosaurs. First, we've got a minis version of Owen. Bingo! Look how small that is. But you can still adjust the arms and the legs. Next up, we've got this. I think this is the biggest dinosaur in the pack. This is a Stegosaurus. Mm. And it has the same coloring as the larger ones that I have actually, which we may see later on in this bin. Mm. Next up from the pack, we've got a special edition Allosaurus. And these are like pretty uh, bendable too, which is interesting. Most of the larger toys are not very bendable like this. And you can even open and close the mouth too on this tiny little figure. And last of all, we've got this mini Velociraptor. And it looks like blue. That is so cool. Next up, we've got a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Let's see that battle damage in action. That is super awesome. And all the joints are movable on this T-Rex as well. With the tail, the legs, even the ankles, the arms, and you can pose the head as well, which is really cool. Most of my T-Rexes can't keep their mouth open unless you're pressing the button. But this one, you can fully pose. We've got another giant T-Rex. This one also with a posable neck and it's got movable legs, arms, and a tail as well. And this one has a button on the top of its head that you can press to make it roar. Look at all those teeth too. And this one is darker colored. It's like a gray on the side and then the dark brown on top. Way in the back here, We've got a giant Indominus Rex. This is even larger than the T-Rexes that we just saw. This is a light gray color throughout most of the body. And it's got that darker coloring right along its eyes right there. And this has a few actions as well. It's got a slashing action with its arms and it's got a button on its tail that you can press for the jaw. That is so cool. Right up front here, we've got a giant, I think this is a Brachiosaurus. Check out this huge body, it's mostly green. It's got a little bit of red on the sides right there. And then on the bottom, it's like an orange tan color. This Brachiosaurus doesn't have any movable parts, but it is pretty squishy and bendy. You can see I can bend its neck back and forth like that. Right up here, we've got one of the newest Tyrannosaurus Rexes from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Check out the size of the face on this T-Rex right here. This is huge and it's much darker than a lot of the T-Rexes I have. Look at that, it's like a black color right on the top and then on the sides a dark brown and then on the belly it's like a light tan color. And the legs are movable, the ankles, the arms, and with the tail, which I really like, can wiggle the tail and it moves his head back and forth. Plus it's got a button on the tail for the roaring. Right up front here, we've got a little Carnotaurus. This one's different from most of the figures that I have, but you can see that there's an action button on its tail. 
for chomping. Just like that. Plus, a button on top, when you press that, it blinks its eyes. Not many of my other dinosaur figures can do that. And you can move the legs and also the tiny little arms as well. Those things are super tiny. All right, another giant T-Rex with different coloring than all the rest. This T-Rex actually comes with a face cage that you can put on. And then when you press this action button on its back, it'll break free from it, which is super cool. Plus, when you twist the tail of this T-Rex, it actually stomps its legs up and down. Up next, we've got a bright green Dilophosaurus with a bright red frills right on its face. Here is a Jurassic World quiz question for you. Who did the Dilophosaurus chase after in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie? Comment below. <laughs> All right, here is the full-size Stegosaurus. We saw that teeny tiny little one earlier in the video. This is the full-sized one, and I think they actually have the same coloring too. With the brown on the sides, the light tan on the belly, and then those green tips. That's super cool. And this Stegosaurus has two action buttons. You can see when you press down here, it moves its face. And when you press down on, which one is it? Here it is. When you press down on this one, this tail swings back and forth. It's spring-loaded, which is super awesome. Right up here, we've got a medium-sized Tyrannosaurus Rex with different coloring than all the rest. You can see that this one has more black stripes that are vertical on it. And you can see on this dinosaur, compared to the other T-Rexes, there's a lot more texture on these. You can't move the legs or the arms on this T-Rex, but you can still open and close the mouth. Right over here, we've got a normal-sized Carnotaurus, still with the same bright red clay coloring and the gray bottom, and it gets darker to like a brown right along the top of its body. On this Carnotaurus, you can wiggle the tail to move its head back and forth and up and down and all that. Plus, there's an action button on its tail to chomp its mouth. Check this out. This is another Carnotaurus, but it has totally different coloring. The pattern on this Carnotaurus is really interesting. It's almost like diamonds on its side. And it's got that bright orange face. You can't close the mouth, unfortunately, or move the legs or the arms or the tail. But I just really like how different this Carnotaurus looks. The color on this one is totally wild. Right over here, we've got a short but super long dinosaur that looks kind of like an alligator, really. This is a sarcosagus, and it has tons of teeth in its mouth. And the coloring on this is super wild too. It's like a dark purple on the top. It's got the orange and red specks right on the side, and then a blue-gray color on the rest of the side and all along the bottom. And with this sarcosagus, when you wiggle the tail, it controls his face. How cool is that? Right over here is one of the scariest dinosaurs from the second Jurassic World movie. It is the Scorpios Rex. This dinosaur is super dark along most of its body, other than its belly, which is a bright yellow color. And this dinosaur has two actions. It's got the arm slashing action. Whoop, wrong button. The arm slashing action. And the chomping action too. Right here, this is a huge dinosaur. We saw this one earlier. This is another Therizinosaurus, but this is from the Jurassic World toy line. And as you can already hear, it has tons of sound effects. Let's see what actions it has. If you wiggle the tail, you can control its torso. And there's a button right here on its tail that when you press that, it's got that chomping action. How cool. And like the earlier Therizinosaurus that we saw, this one also has the bright red right along its top. Up next, we've got a large-sized Velociraptor, and I think it's Velociraptor Blue. You can move the arms of this Velociraptor, the legs, you can twist and adjust the tail, 
but the mouth does not open or close on this Velociraptor. But I still like this Velociraptor figure because it is larger than most of the other figures that I have. Most of the other figures are probably around this size, I'd say. So this one is actually giant in comparison. Right over here on the side, I believe this is from the John Hammond collection. And I think this is a Pteranodon. And this has super flexible wings. It's like all made out of rubber, so it's super bendy. And I do like the coloring on this as well. It's got that brown over most of its body and then that yellow coloring right along its wings. That's super cool. And look at the intricacy of the coloring on its face as well. Up next, we've got this mighty Ankylosaurus with those spikes on the side and armor right on the top. You do not want to mess with this one in the wild. And it's got an action as well. There's a button to swing its tail back and forth with a super heavy end. I bet that would knock out some dinosaurs. Right on top here, we've got a smaller dinosaur, but don't be fooled. This, I believe, is a juvenile Giganotosaurus. It's got like this red purple coloring right along its face. And then on the top, it's got black with the white striping as well. You can't move the arms or legs of this figure, but you can open and close the jaw. Next up, we've got another Stegosaurus, but this one has entirely different coloring. This is a blue-gray color, and you can see that there's some even darker coloring right along the top. And on the belly, as usual, is a tan color. This Stegosaurus has only one action button. When you press right here, it wiggles its tail back and forth with those spikes. But on this one, you can just move the face. There's no action button to control it. Right over here, we've got another giant Velociraptor. This one is super adjustable and it is a super bright green color. Look at the ways that you can adjust each limb with the ankles, with the knees, with the elbows. Everything is adjustable on this Velociraptor. Right over here, we've got another Baryonyx with totally different coloring. Unlike the brand new Baryonyx that we saw earlier in the video, this one has a gray body along the sides and the bottom. And on the top of the body is a dark blue color with like a little bit of white. And then right on the neck is a super bright blue color. And this Baryonyx has an entirely different action as well. When you slide this back and forth, it does chomping. Check this out. This is the Concavenator. And look at that bright red coloring right along its back right there. Plus it's got the purple right there and especially all over its head. This dinosaur is also fully adjustable. You can adjust the arms and the legs and the tail as well. Plus it's got some action buttons. See, there's one right here. Let's see what happens. There's the chomping action. And when you press down on this huge hump on its back, it swings its tail back and forth too. Here is another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. And just like many of the other models that we have, you can't move the arms or the legs, but look at the intricacy of the texture along its body. Look at all that different coloring from the dark brown to the light brown. There's even like a little bit of, it seems like orange or yellow in there too. And with this model, you can of course, open and close its mouth and see all those giant teeth. Here we've got a model Spinosaurus with the huge bright red spine and the red goes all the way down to the end of its tail. The rest of its body is like a dark gray color and it's got the yellow belly as usual. And on this model Spinosaurus, you can open and close its jaw. Here is another huge and brightly colored dinosaur. This is the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. Did you know that these dinosaurs have teeth that are up to eight inches long each? Those are some huge teeth. This dinosaur is a tan yellow color along most of its body, but right along the top, we can see these bright orange stripes that go all the way up to the dinosaur's face where the nose is also the bright orange color. And there's an action button on this dinosaur where you can chomp. Here we've got another miniature Carnotaurus. This one actually has a broken horn right on the top. Do 
Do you remember seeing that in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie? I know I do. This dinosaur is a dark green color along most of its body, and it's got the orange pattern right along the top of its body as well. And it is fully posable. You can move the arms, the legs, the neck, and the jaw as well. Right over here, oh, dropped one of them. These are both Pachycephalosauruses. They both have different coloring. They've got orange on both of them, but this one is a green color on its belly and side. And this one is kind of green, but it's more of a yellow green on its belly. And it's got those specks on the side as well. Plus this figure actually has an action as well. When you pull on the tail, it has a hammering action. Oh, here's a different looking dinosaur. Look at those frills all along its neck. This is the Amargosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly brown along the sides and the bottom, but there's a lot of dark specks on the top. Plus there's this bright red coloring all along its frills and its spine all the way to the bottom. And this dinosaur has some actions as well. First button moves its neck up and down and the second button swings its tail. Here we've got a huge winged dinosaur. I remember seeing this one in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This dinosaur has some super bright coloring right next to its eyes and on the horn on its head and right along the tip of its beak. And the rest of its body is like a blue gray color, except for its wings that are brown and a light tan. Plus there's an action button right up top. When you press it, it flaps its wings. We've still got some dinosaurs left. Here is the Rajasaurus with the brown coloring along its side and the dark blue right next to its neck and on those spines on its neck too. This Rajasaurus has an action when you press down on the feet, it does a chomping action. That is super awesome. I think we've got some more Velociraptors in here. Oh yeah, here's a few and they're all super differently colored. This first one kind of looks like blue, but not quite. It has the blue stripe right there and you can adjust the arms and you can open and close the jaw. And notice, I think it has a little bit of feathers right on its elbow right there. That's super interesting. The next Velociraptor figure is a dark purple color with brown coloring on the top and along its head. How cool is that? And this last Velociraptor right here is tan and brown with a little bit of yellow specks. And this Velociraptor has an action as well. Its torso actually swings back and forth. It's spring loaded, so it swings super fast. Let's see what other little dinosaurs we've got in here. All right, this first one is a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex and it comes with a muzzle and a bandage as well. You can actually take the muzzle off and you can open and close its mouth. This is a super bright green Tyrannosaurus Rex with that speckled striping along the top. This next figure is a teeny tiny Indominus Rex, but it's still pretty detailed. You can still see the texture of the skin and it's got that brown coloring right along its spine right there. And this next dinosaur, I'm sure you recognize from the new Jurassic World movie, this is an Atrociraptor. It is mostly white and it's got that brown stripes kind of randomly all throughout its body. It's super cool and pretty scary looking. I think we've got a few more winged dinosaurs in here too. Let's check out this giant one first. This is actually another Quetzalcoatlus, but with entirely different coloring. See the purple, that fades into like a dark maroon color and the rest of its body is mostly this tan color. But like the other Quetzalcoatlus that we saw, it has super bright coloring on its face. Check that out. And of course, when you press this button right here, it'll flap its wings. How cool. This next winged dinosaur is a little one. This is a Dimorphodon. Most of its body and wings are this dark brown color, but you can see some orange stripes here on its head and on the bottom of its wings right here too. And this winged dinosaur is a Pteranodon with a dark blue color along most of its body and red detailing along the top. Plus it has the battle damage right on its body right there. Next up, 
we've got this super weird looking dinosaur. This is the Tanistrophius. This dinosaur, I believe, resides in the ocean. And check out this super long neck. When you pull the tail, it swoops its neck down like that. Mm -hmm. That is super cool. And this is a bright dinosaur too. It's a bright blue color. <laughs> Next up, we've got a dinosaur with some massive spikes. This is a Sauropelta, and it's bright red along the top and a dark brown along the bottom. And this dinosaur is actually spring-loaded, so you can twist the torso back and forth for that slashing action with its horns. Right up here, we've got a little Monolophosaurus figure. This dinosaur has a dark green coloring along the sides and bottom, it has that yellow coloring right along its back and right on the front of its face, it's got that red coloring too. And with the tail, you can press up and down to open and close its mouth. We've got another super interesting colored dinosaur. This is the Protoceratops. Yay. And it's like a light purple color with the yellow striping pattern along the top of its body and along its face as well, right up front. Right up here, we've got a red Stigimaloc. This is a headbutting dinosaur. And when you pull the tail up and down, it has the headbutting action. How cool is that? Oh, I think we've got another baby T-Rex in here. This one is also a bright green color and it actually has an action. When you pull the tail, you can control its jaw. Next up, we've got another dinosaur from the ocean. This is the Plesiosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly tan along its body, but it does have the dark blue coloring right along its back all the way up to its face right here. And when you press the action button, it can actually make him move his fins. Next up, we've got this green colored Herrerasaurus, and it's actually got a little bit of blue along its top too, which is super interesting. This Herrerasaurus is fully adjustable. You can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the jaw as well. So it is fully poseable. Up next, we've got this bright green Draco Rex. Look at how bright this dinosaur is. I think that is super cool. And look at that dark gray striping along its back. But don't forget those massive horns on its head. This Draco Rex is fully adjustable. You can move the neck, you can move the arms and the legs as well. But the jaw does not open and close, unfortunately. Here we have a teeny tiny little Gallimimus with three different colors on it. Got the orange tan color for most of its body and then the blue and red striping all along its back, all the way up to its blue face. And our last dinosaur is another super scary looking Dilophosaurus. This dinosaur is mostly gray with darker gray specks along the top. And on those frills, you've got that bright red coloring. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur figures and putting them on my display shelf right over here. I've got tons of empty space. So let's get started with these brand new ones right here. Let's first get started with the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's open this thing up. Here is the fully assembled brand new Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look at the size of this thing. Compared to the other super colossal dinosaurs that I have, this one is a darker brown color. It's got that black top with the stripes along the side right there. And just like my other super colossal figures, it's quite adjustable with the ankles, you can move the legs, you can wiggle the tail, you can move the arms. Oh, you know what? Right on its head, it kind of feels a little rubbery actually you can kind of press down on it compared to the rest of its body, which is a hard plastic. And of course, like all the other super colossal T-Rexes, this dinosaur has a throat compartment that goes all the way down to its stomach. So you can feed it mini dinosaurs and then empty them out. That is super cool. Next up, we've got the Baryonyx from the Hammond collection. Let's open it up. All 
right, here it is fully assembled. This is one of the most adjustable baryonyxes that I have. I have a few of the Velociraptors from the Hammond collection, and this one's pretty similar with how you can move it and adjust it. This baryonyx has a dark top with all those bumps all over, then it's got the white stripe right along the side, and then a gray side and a white underbelly. And on the face, you can see that there's a little bit of blue on the under eye. I really like how adjustable this is though. This is really cool. All right, let's put these two dinosaurs on the shelves. All right, let's grab this T-Rex and bring him on over to the shelf. There we go, T-Rex is on display. <laughs> Next, let's grab the Baryonyx and put it right beside the T-Rex. All right, let's move on to all these other dinosaurs. Let's first start off with this huge Indominus Rex. This Indominus Rex has two features on it. It's got the button on the tail that activates the jaw. And it's got the button on top of its back that activates the slashing action. All right, let's put this on the shelf right over here. Next up, we've got another T-Rex. This one has similar coloring to the giant T-Rex that we've got over here. And this is also a brand new Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. And this T-Rex has an action button on the tail. You can move the tail to control the neck and there's a button as well to control the jaw. Let's go ahead and put this on the shelf. Right in the center. All right, moving along. We've got another T-Rex. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got a rubbery tail. The rest of the body is plastic, aside from the rubbery neck right here. Let's go ahead and put this on the shelf too. Where should we put it? Right next to this other T-Rex. Right over here, we've got a giant Spinosaurus. Look at the size of this dinosaur. It's got the red spine, the red face. There's a button that activates the jaw. All right, let's put this right next to the Indominus Rex. Next up, we've got another giant T-Rex. This one is brown with gray spotting all over the top. And it comes with some pretty cool sound effects as you can hear. Plus, there's an action button for the roaring. Let's put this down right next to the super colossal T-Rex. Right in the back here, we've got a classic Stegosaurus. This is from the Jurassic Park toy line. So this is a pretty old toy and it's got that battle damage right there on the side. Mm. The tail is pretty rubbery so you can swing the tail back and forth. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's have it go right next to these T-Rexes. And right over here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is a lighter brown color with dark brown on the top and a lighter underbelly. With this T-Rex, you can twist the tail to control the face and there's a button on the tail to control the roar too. Up next, we've got a giant Mosasaurus. The whole body on this Mosasaurus is pretty rubbery. And as you can see, I can press inward on it, so it's hollow. And the jaw opens and closes too. All right, let's find a place for this. Let's have it go on this lower shelf right here. Right back here, we've got a smaller predator. This is the Rajasaurus, and this is a newer toy as well. And when you press down on the neck, as the roaring action. Let's put this right up here on this higher shelf. I think we've still got another T-Rex in here. Yeah, here's another one. This is kind of almost gray colored with brown on the top and a light underbelly. And this T-Rex has a button near the head that you can press for the roar. All right, there we go, right next to the other T-Rex. Here we've got another Stegosaurus with different coloring. And this figure is a bit newer than the Jurassic Park one that we saw earlier. Plus, this Stegosaurus has some actions. When you press down here, it swings the tail back and forth. That is very cool. Let's put it on the top shelf, right next to the Ragosaurus. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus. I think I actually have two of them. This is a blue version with orange and brown detailing on the top. And then I've actually got 
a yellow one with orange and brown detailing on the top too. Let's put both of these on the shelf. Here we've got an Allosaurus, I believe. This dinosaur is gray with yellow detailing all over its body. It has an action button right on the back to control the jaw. Next up, we've got a good old Ankylosaurus with a brown underbelly and a green and gray top. This Ankylosaurus also has an action button to sweep the tail. Put the Ankylosaurus right up there. Right over here, we've got a bright green Velociraptor. I believe this Velociraptor is also from the Hammond collection. As you can see, it is super adjustable all over its body. It is really cool. Let's put it on the same shelf as the Baryonyx over here. Next up, we've got the Yang Chuanosaurus. This is a newer dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion series, I believe. This dinosaur is mostly green around its body with the brown detailing on the top and the bright orange right on its face. Let's go ahead and find a place for this on the shelf. Right over here, we've got another huge predator. This is the Tarbosaurus. Look at those huge spikes on its back and that bright red under its chin too. This is a really cool looking predator. Let's put him on the higher shelf, right here. Nope, oh, he barely fits in there. Right up top here, we've got a super bright dinosaur. This is the Nasudoceratops. This dinosaur has some green, blue, and orange all over its body. And look at the size of those horns too. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. Here is another awesome predator and one of my favorite. This is a Carnotaurus with the red and dark purple. It looks kind of like purple on the top of its body. This dinosaur also has an action button on its back for the chomping. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put them next to these T-Rexes over here. Here we've got a noisy dinosaur. This, I believe, is a Cryolophosaurus, and it has some super awesome detailing on its back and on the top of its head. Check that out. Cool, let's find a place for this. Let's put them um, right next to the Carcharodontosaurus. Here we've got a super long dinosaur. This is a Sarcosagus. It's got a blue, gray underbelly, and then the purple orange and red on the top. This is really cool. Let's find a place for this right next to the Mosasaurus. Here's another predator. I believe that this one is a Ceratosaurus. It's got that bright red coloring and that white horn right on the top of its nose. The rest of its body is gray with a little bit of brown. Let's find a place for this on the shelf. Right next to the Tarbosaurus. <laughs> All right, we've got another Baryonyx in here. This one is not from the Hammond collection, so it's not quite as adjustable as the other Baryonyx that we opened up today. But it's still got an action button right on the top. Let's put this on the shelf right next to the Ceratosaurus. Here is a red, or it's like a clay red Triceratops with brown detailing on the top. This Triceratops has one action button right on the top that controls the head. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Nasudoceratops. Right down here, we've got a small raptor. This one is tan with brown on the top, and this raptor has a slashing action. You can see it's spring-loaded in its torso so that you can actually slash with the claws. Let's put this right next to Ankylosaurus. Check this out, this is a baby Brachiosaurus. 
and it's pretty adjustable still. You can move the legs, the neck, and you can twist the tail too. So let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put this right next to the Triceratops. We've got another Raptor. This one is a yellow color with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. That is really cool. Let's put this next to the other Raptor. All right, another Baryonyx with different coloring again. This has some bright blue right on the top of its head and some darker blue along its body, a little bit of white, and then the rest of its body is a gray color. Plus, this Baryonyx has a slide action button so you can get multiple sound effects with each slide. Cool, let's put it on the same shelf as this other Baryonyx. Here we've got a different looking Triceratops. This is a dark green with orange spots all over it. That's pretty interesting. This figure is also pretty adjustable. You can move the arms and you can move the head up and down too. Let's find a home for this on the shelf. Put it right here next to this Baryonyx. I believe this dinosaur is a Monolophosaurus. I think I actually have multiple of this one. Yeah, I think this is a Monolophosaurus as well. And look at the difference in coloring between the two. That is really cool, totally different. Let's find a home for these. Let's put them on this lower shelf right here. Still got a few dinosaurs left. This, I think, is another Ceratosaurus, but with totally different coloring. It's a dark green with gray detailing along the top. And this dinosaur also has the slide action button for multiple sound effects. Very cool. Let's put this right next to the T-Rex, right over here. Next up, we've got a small dinosaur. This is a Shringosaurus. It's got a super long neck and two huge horns on its head. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and find a place for this, right here on the front shelf. Next up, we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it isn't. It's a Chialingosaurus. Check out those spikes right there on its shoulders. How cool is that? Let's put this dinosaur right next to this Triceratops up here. Right over here, we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Triceratops, but I think it's actually a Cosmoceratops. Look at how different all those horns are on the front. That is really cool. It's got some green striping right along the top. Let's put this one on the front shelf too. Here's a big dinosaur. This is a Kentrosaurus. It's got those huge spikes right along the side. Even more big than the Chialingosaurus that we just saw. Let's put this right next to the Monoophosauruses right here on the bottom. Here we've got another Baryonyx. This one has bright orange on the top of its head and the rest of its body is a light brown with blue detailing on the top. That is cool. Let's put this one right next to this Ceratosaurus. I believe this dinosaur is a Parasaurolophus. Look at that huge horn right on its head. These are really cool looking dinosaurs, I think. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Kentrosaurus. Next up, we've got a Herrerasaurus. Look at that super long mouth and all those teeth. That is really cool. Let's put this dinosaur right in front of the Carnotaurus. We've got a few more raptors in here. This raptor is bright red with, I think that's purple on its body. And this other raptor is more of a brown color with orange detailing on the top. That's really cool. Looks like we don't have any more space up there for raptors, so let's go ahead and put them right up here, up in front. Here is a purple Stegosaurus with yellow spots all over its body. That is pretty neat. And the legs and tail are adjustable on this dinosaur. Let's go ahead and put him right in front of this super colossal T-Rex. 
Just a few left. Here is a bright red Minmi dinosaur. Look at all those spikes and armor plating. That is really cool. Let's put this right next to the Cosmoceratops. And last but not least, we've got a green Sauropelta. It's dark green on the top, light green on the bottom with those huge spikes right on its side. Let's put this right in front of this T-Rex up here. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a ton of Predator dinosaur figures from the Camp Cretaceous collection. And I've even got some huge brand new ones to open up today. Let's go ahead and start with these brand new ones. Let's start with the biggest one at the bottom here. This is the super colossal Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. This thing is already huge. Let's get those legs and tail on. Here is the fully assembled super colossal Indominus Rex. So first off, it has the typical coloring that uh, the smaller Indominus Rexes have. But when you open up the mouth, you can see that there's a tunnel that goes all the way down into the stomach compartment right here. So you can actually feed this Indominus Rex miniature dinosaurs and then empty it out through the stomach right here. That is super cool. Plus, even though this thing is huge, it still is fully adjustable. Of course, you can adjust the jaw. You can also twist the neck. You can adjust the arms up and down. You can move the legs and ankles. And of course, you can move the tail. All in all, I'd say this dinosaur is probably around two feet tall and maybe three feet long. We've still got two brand new dinosaurs to open up. Let's start with the Albertosaurus. All right, so this is a medium sized dinosaur. As you can see, it is a mostly green dinosaur, but it has those red striping on its side from the head all the way to its stomach on both sides. And there's an action button on the tail. If you press the button, it chomps the jaw. Plus, if you twist the tail, it moves its head back and forth like that. I have a few other Albertosauruses. Some of them even have battle damage on the side. This one does not, so this is just the normal primal attack Albertosaurus. Next up, we've got a feeding frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's open it up. All right, here is the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. Let's check it out. So it has the same coloring as the huge one that we just saw. And it has this huge face and jaw too. This dinosaur comes with tons of sound effects and it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when you feed it. So it's making some growling noises. And when it hits the trigger in there, its eyes start glowing too. That is pretty cool. And I love how big the teeth are on this dinosaur as well. Just look at that. Those are so huge. Right up top here, we've got another Indominus Rex. This one is still huge, not quite as huge as the super colossal one that we just opened up. And as you can see, it's colored kind of the same. It has some dark gray on the top and a lighter gray on the sides. It's got those orange eyes. And this dinosaur has two action buttons on it. First, you've got the tail button that activates the jaw. And then you've got a button on its back that activates the slashing action. All in all, this is a really cool Indominus Rex figure. Up next, we've got a giant Spinosaurus with dark green coloring on the sides. And on its spine, there's red, white, and a little bit of green at the bottom. Plus, this Spinosaurus is fully adjustable with the neck, the arms, the legs, and the tail. And of course, you can press the button on the top of its head to open its jaw. This is a super awesome figure and huge. Right up here, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I believe that this one was custom colored. So you won't really see 
coloring like this on other T-Rexes that you can get. But look how cool it is. It's bright red, black on the top, and then the orange on the sides. It almost looks like the T-Rex is on fire. That is so awesome. Back here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is normal color. It's got brown on the sides, a darker brown on the top, and the tan belly. Plus, this dinosaur has a few action buttons as well. You can move the tail, and it moves its head around, which I really like, it's super realistic. And there's even a button on the tail that you can press to open its jaw. Back here, we've got another T-Rex, but this one is battle damage. Look at that, right on the side. And pressing the button, you can turn it on and off. That is super awesome. And this T-Rex is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, neck, and the jaw as well. Back here, we've actually got another battle damage T-Rex, but this one is a bit different than the other one. Instead of having the thing on its side right here, you can see that there's a bunch of slashes all over its body, on the tail, on its legs, on its belly, and even on its face. And just like the other T-Rexes, this is fully adjustable. You can move the tail, the legs, the arms, the neck, and this one has a button at the top to make it roar. Here is another giant Spinosaurus with different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is mostly brown with the red detailing. You can see along its face, it's got that bright red coloring as well as along its spine. And even on the top, you can see that there's a lighter tan and then a dark brown color right along the top. That is super cool. Fully adjustable and it has the button on the head that you can use to open its jaw. Up next, we've got the mighty Carcharodontosaurus. This dinosaur is a mostly tan yellow coloring, but you can see that there's orange and brown striping all the way up to its head. And this dinosaur has an action button as well. With the button on its back, you can do the chomping action. Here is the Tarbosaurus. This dinosaur has totally different coloring. It is a dark gray color with black stripes all along its body. It's got those spikes all along its spine and right on its chin and on its neck is a bright red color. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with its arms, legs, tail. The tail actually controls the head and the button on the tail controls the jaw as well. Here is another fierce predator. This is an Allosaurus. It's a dark green color with red and white speckles on its neck and face. And it is fully adjustable and it's got this slide action. That is super awesome. Right over here, we've got the great Metriocanthosaurus. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a yellow green color on the sides. It's got the green coloring on top with the action button that controls its jaw. And it is fully adjustable in the legs and arms as well. Right over here, we've actually got a few Baryonyxes with totally different coloring. This first one, gray coloring with blue and a bright blue on the top and it has a slide action for its roars. This second Baryonyx is brown colored and it has blue detailing on the top and a bright orange top of the head. And the action button on this dinosaur activates the jaw. All right, here's another massive predator. This is a Carnotaurus. This dinosaur can be controlled by its tail. When you move its tail, it moves its head around. There's also a button on the tail to activate the jaw. And I love the coloring on this. This is like a dark brown red color with speckles of like a gray color as well. So it's quite detailed and fully adjustable as usual too. Right over here, we've got a super long nosed dinosaur. This is the Sarcosagus. This is a clay red color on the top. Look at all those spikes along the top of its body. And along the bottom is a dark green color. 
but I love the detail of all those spikes along its back. That really gives it a strong texture. That's really cool. And the tail, of course, controls the head so you can move the head around. Right back here, we've got a winged dinosaur. I'm sure you recognize this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus, and it has two action buttons. The first on the top flaps its wings, and there's actually one on the bottom that controls the mouth. Oh, here's a dinosaur you don't see too much of. This is a Ceratosaurus. This dinosaur is gray with splotches of dark brown and of course the red back and the super bright red face with the white horn on the very top. This dinosaur has an action button on its back that controls its jaw and the rest of its body is fully adjustable. Right back here is another Sarcosagus, but this one has totally different coloring. It's got the blue bottom, the dark purple top, same spines though, and then it's got orange and red splotches all over its back. That is super cool. Here is another unusual predator. This is the Majungasaurus. This dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. Although it's mostly green in the back, it has those bright yellow coloring right along its back and that bright blue color right on its neck and on its head. And this figure has quite a lot of sound effects as you can hear. The tail also moves the head around so you can make it look super realistic. All right, this is another super noisy dinosaur. This is the Cryolophosaurus. This figure is dark blue around most of its body. And it's got the orange head and neck as well. I love that accent. And with this tail, you can adjust the head and wiggle it around. How cool is that? Right, here is a full-sized Allosaurus. I love the coloring on this dinosaur. It's got the tan yellow bottom and the bright blue top. That is so cool. I think we've actually got two Allosauruses here, both with different coloring. So let's check this one out first. This one has two action buttons on the top. The first controls its jaw and the second button controls its arms. How cool is that? The legs are fully adjustable and the tail you can twist as well. The second Allosaurus is mostly gray with the yellow splotches all along the top of its body. And this has one action button on its back where you press it and it controls the jaw. Right over here, we've got a brightly colored Suchomimus. This is a bright yellow with brown along its spine and this dinosaur has a few action buttons. The first controls its neck and jaw, and the second controls its tail. Plus, the rest of the figure is fully adjustable as well. Oh, here's actually a second Suchomimus with totally different coloring. This one is mostly blue along the entire body, but it's got the yellow detailing along its spine as well as those splotches. And this Suchomimus has one action on its back. When you press it down, it does a chomping action. All right, here's another Baryonyx with different coloring. This Baryonyx is light brown on the sides and the belly, and on the top has a dark blue coloring all along its back to the tail and to the head. But the coolest part of the coloring is this super reflective blue coloring right on its head. This Baryonyx is fully adjustable and it has one action button for its jaw. Here is another Cryolophosaurus. This one is differently colored than the last one that we saw. It's mostly yellow with the brown on the top and of course the bright orange crown on its head. This dinosaur is fully adjustable. You can move the tail to adjust the head. And of course, as you can hear, it comes with tons of sound effects. Here is another Metriacanthosaurus, but once again, different coloring than the last one we saw. This one is a bright red color with brown detailing all along its back. And on the head, you can see that it's got that bright orange and yellow coloring. There is one action button on this dinosaur and that controls the jaw. Up next, we've got 
Another Carcharodontosaurus. Check out the coloring on this one. This is a bright blue coloring and it's got the brown and orange specks on its back and neck and right around its eye as well. This dinosaur is fully adjustable with legs, arms, and tail. And there's one action button on its back that when you press, it does a chomping action. All right, we've got another Baryonyx right here. This one is bright green with brown on the top. And as usual, the arms and legs are fully adjustable and there is one action button on the top that controls its jaw. All right, check this one out. I remember this from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Dimetrodon. And look at that huge spine on its back. It's red with yellow speckles all over it. And with this dinosaur figure, when you wiggle the tail back and forth, it opens and closes its jaw. All right, I see a ton of Velociraptors in here. Let's pull a few out. This Velociraptor, is a green color with a darker green along the top and is fully adjustable. Even with the mouth, you can open and close. The second Velociraptor is different coloring. This is a blue along most of its body. It's got the tan bottom, but the coolest part of all, it's got the yellow along the top and a shining gold along its head. It's actually reflective, which is super cool. And this Velociraptor is mostly tan. You can see it along the bottom and the sides with the brown top. But most importantly, this Velociraptor has a slashing action. It is spring-loaded, so you can actually twist its torso back and forth, and it'll do this slashing action. All right, right over here, we've got a baby T-Rex with a jaw-chomping action, brightly green-colored and fully adjustable. And this is a Dilophosaurus. It is mostly gray-colored with darker gray along the top, but this Dilophosaurus actually has an action. When you move the tail, it activates its frills. That's so cool. We've still got more Velociraptors in here. Let's check them out. Here are four Velociraptors. The first is an orangish Velociraptor, and it has the slashing action. The next Velociraptor is a bright red color with green striping on the top. Look at how bright this Velociraptor is, and it is fully adjustable. The next Velociraptor is a classic one. This is blue, and it comes with battle damage on the side as well. And this Velociraptor is more of a yellow coloring with brown on the top. This one also comes with battle damage on the side as well. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. This is a Herrerasaurus. It is all green and it has different shades of green all along its body. And it is fully adjustable with the mouth, the neck, the arms, and the legs. Over here, we've got a weird looking dinosaur. This is the Shringosaurus. Look at those huge horns on its head and the brown coloring on the top and the yellow on the sides. This is quite the odd looking dinosaur. At least I think so. And our last two dinosaurs of this collection. First, we've got the Great Dimorphodon. This is mostly a gray color with a dark red along the bottom of its wings, but it's still fully adjustable with its legs, its mouth, its neck, and its wings. And this Velociraptor is a dark gray color with yellow detailing right along the top of it and is fully adjustable as well. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we're gonna check out a bunch of giant dinosaurs that are in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And I've actually got some brand new toys as well to unbox. Let's get started with this big one right here. This is from the Jurassic World Dominion toy series that just came out. Let's open it up. All right, so we've got the capture and crush truck. And let's go ahead and click the arm into place. 
All right, this truck is used for capturing those dinosaurs like this Velociraptor right here. Let's see it in action. Car's driving around, along comes this Raptor and you can use the claw to swoop down and pick up the Raptor and then put it in the back of the truck. Just like that. Now we have a captured Velociraptor. Or is he captured? This is a really cool toy. And it even comes with a few more things as well. You've got a cannon in there. You've got some chains. And I think this truck actually has an additional feature to it. So check this out. The truck can actually break apart. When the Raptor comes along and it headbutts the front of the car, bam! Oh no, look out! The truck's broken! That is so cool! And you can even do that on the side too. You can headbutt it and wham! The car breaks! That is so awesome! This is one powerful Velociraptor. And next up of our brand new Jurassic World Dominion toys is this Owen Escape Pack. And look at all the dinosaurs that it comes with. And of course, Owen on his motorcycle. Let's open it up. All right, so this set comes with three dinosaurs. The first one is a giant Carnotaurus. Look at that, you can see its horns. And I think one of the horns is actually broken. It's a wounded Carnotaurus. And the other two dinosaurs are the mighty Atrociraptors. Look at the coloring on this one. It is striped. It's like bright orange with the white striping. That is crazy. And our other Atrociraptor, Ooh, he's in that sneaking pose. He's stalking his prey, which is Owen right now. So you better watch out for this Atrociraptor or he'll sneak up on you. And finally, we've got Owen up here and he comes with a helmet and a tiny little knife. Let's check out Owen. Here is Owen, fits on his motorcycle. It's a bright red motorcycle. And he zooms away while the Atrociraptors chase after him. Run! Next up in our brand new figures, we've got the Ankylosaurus, the Roar Strikers series. Let's open this dinosaur up. Here is the great and mighty Ankylosaurus. Look at all that armor plating on its back. And I love the coloring on this too. It's like a clay red color and it's got brown on the top and all those spikes are a nice bright tan color. And this toy comes with an action as well. You can push down on its back and it'll swing his tail. Watch out for that tail. All right, let's see what other dinosaurs we've got from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. Right here, we've got the good old classic Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this dinosaur actually comes with a cage that you can put on its face that it'll break out of. So right now he's trapped and he's gonna break out in three, two, one, go! That is so cool. This is an awesome dinosaur figure. Up next, we've got a giant Indominus Rex with battle damage. Look at the battle damage on the side right there. That's so cool. It comes with sound effects and you can turn the battle damage on and off. And besides the battle damage on the side, you've also got the action where you can open and close its mouth with a button on its tail. This figure is ginormous. This one is super cool to display on my shelf. Over here, we've got another dinosaur with battle damage. This is a Tyrannosaurus battle damage edition. 
Look at all that damage all over its body. It's got huge gashes on its chin and on its leg, on its side, and even a little bit on its face right there too. This is super cool. I love the detail to this. All the way in the back here, we've got the great Spinosaurus. These dinosaurs are huge in real life. And I love the coloring on this one as well. Look at all that detail. And even look at the skin too. Look at all of those bumps. It looks super realistic. Over here in the corner, we've got another T-Rex, but this one's a bit different than the other ones. It's a bright red, and it's got this action button on the tail. If you press it, there's a chomping action. That is super cool, and I love how bright this T-Rex is. All right, we've got a few more T-Rexes right here. This one is even bigger than this T-Rex over here. Let's check out this one first. This one has the ripping action. Wow, look at that. And it's got the tail action too. That is super cool. And this T-Rex right over here, it's a bit smaller, but still super ferocious. Look at this, we've got another giant Indominus Rex, just like the other one, except this one doesn't have battle damage. This one has a claw slashing action. Look at this. Right up front here, we've got a ginormous Triceratops. And look at that battle damage too. This dinosaur is quite rubbery. The whole outside is rubber, so it feels pretty lifelike. And when you squeeze its chest, its neck moves up and down. That is really cool. Let's keep digging in. Over here, we've got a mighty Carnotaurus with its great horns on the top and the tiny little arms in the front and the action button on its tail to operate its mouth. Oh, you better watch out. We've got some of the most ferocious dinosaurs right here. These are the Scorpios Rexes. These things are super scary. And I like that they're mostly black so they can actually sneak around in the dark easier than other dinosaurs. So you'd want to keep your eye out for these at the nighttime. And it's got the claw slashing action as well. Right up front, we've got a gigantic Stegosaurus. Look at this. And it's got some action buttons as well. Look at that, you see? It's moving its head up and down. That is super cool. And on the other side here, if you press this one, it swings its tail back and forth. Oh no, watch out for those spikes. Stay out of the way. Check this out. This is one of my favorite Indominus Rex figures. Look at all the detail. This figure is more of a model because none of the parts move other than its mouth. But I love the coloring on it and how realistic it looks. All right, here are some of my favorite dinosaurs ever. These are giant velociraptors and i love the coloring too they're similar but this one's like a more teal color and this is a more jungle green color i love the stripes and the speckled coloring on this dinosaur and both of these velociraptors are super poseable look at all the ways that you can move them and even with the claws on their feet you can move up and down that is so cool Better watch out. This is an Endoraptor. 
These dinosaurs are super scary and super smart. You better stay out of the way of these dinosaurs. Look at that gold on the side. And once again, this dinosaur is mostly black as well, so we can sneak around in the night. Look at this. We've got a few Dilophosauruses with their crazy looking frills. Stay out of the way of these dinosaurs or they might spit venom at you. Ooh, right over here. We've got a few more Ankylosauruses. And look at the difference in coloring on these two as well. This one's a lot brighter. It's got that bright blue and like a yellow tan coloring on the bottom. And this one is a green and brown on the bottom. But they've both got those mighty spikes and the mighty armor plating. Let's see the action button on this one. Super cool. And what does this one have? Let's check it out. Let's keep going. There's so many more dinosaurs to see. Wow, look at these two. I think these both are herbivores. I'm actually not sure what type of dinosaur they are. But look at this one. This one has a huge horn on its back. And this one kind of has like a crown on top. It's like a bright yellow right on the top of its head. And this one's got some action buttons as well. Let's see what it does. First button moves its neck. And the second button moves the tail. And on this dinosaur, you can wiggle the tail back and forth to move its head. How cool is that? Oh, check this out. We've got another model dinosaur. This is the mighty T-Rex. And look at that awesome pose that he's in. It's as if he's roaring right now. Oh, look out, we've got another Indominus Rex in here. This one comes with battle damage as well. And you click it, bam, there's the battle damage. And the tail controls the head as well. Watch out for those chomps. Ooh, right over here, this is a Mosasaurus. This dinosaur swims in the ocean and it is a ginormous dinosaur. All right, we've got even more Dilophosauruses in here. Check it out, we've got three more. This one is a giant one. And these two are smaller, but look at the coloring on these. That is so cool. And look at how different they all are. I love the variety and coloring, even for the same species of dinosaur. Oh, and here are some of my favorite dinosaurs again. The Velociraptors. We've got a green one right here. We've got a brown Velociraptor. And of course, the famous blue. Oh, I think there's even more Velociraptors in here. Here we go. We've got another green Velociraptor. This one looks like he's sneaking around, stalking his prey. And then we've got this awesome bright red Velociraptor with green stripes on the back. And this Velociraptor actually has a jumping action. The legs are spring loaded, so when you press down, it'll spring up into the air. Three, two, one. All right, these are our last dinosaurs of the bin. Look at this. I believe this is a Pteranodon maybe, and it's got the battle damage on the top that you can open and close. We've also got a baby Triceratops. Those massive horns in the front. Super cool. And also a cute little Gallimimus. And this coloring is really cool. It's got the blue top and the orange sides.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.